Hi, I'm Elizabeth and also Lime Essential Beauty. And as you can probably tell from the title of the video and also the looks that I have going on, that today I am celebrating Autism Awareness Month, which is the month of April. For me, doing the awareness looks are so important because for every disease or condition out there that there is still no cure, not a known cause, those diseases and conditions are desperately in need of awareness so that there can be research, there can be cures found, causes understood, and differences made. And this is my attempt of making a difference and bringing some awareness. All right, let's get started with these two different looks. The left side is going to be the quote unquote regular makeup look and I'm going to use the colors of the autism awareness ribbon for the colors of my eyeshadows. On this side, I'm going to do the autism awareness ribbon. And this is what the ribbon, this is really awkward. This is what the ribbon looks like. And I am going to put a little bit of a different spin on it. I am not going to be using the puzzle pieces. Coffee break. Okay, here's my plan and I hope it works. I'm a little nervous, but I shouldn't be. It's just makeup, right? I chose the light concealer because what I'm hoping to do is outline the shape of the ribbon put a light coat of foundation on, do another outline of the ribbon, and then do another light coat of foundation so both sides of my face are hopefully the same color. Okay, let's go. We're gonna take, we're gonna start up at the top, I believe, and we're just going to do a light draft. Now this is going to come down, and this is going to come down. This will come down, and we're going to just take it down the eyeball. And then we're going to take this side down. I'm going to take it right down to the edge. I don't like this part. What if we stop it about here? I'm doing the bottom of the the tail end of the ribbon right now. I'm trying to get it right. This part we want to connect right there and then this part we're going to bring it up and we want it to connect. We're going to have to bring this out some. And we're going to have this part connect to like right on the inner corner of the eye and up. Bam. We're going to take this one. We're going to go. done the best I can to make the black lines nice and crisp. Yay, fun time. 
I am going to be using two palettes. The first is the Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. Look at all those fun colors. The next one I'm going to use is the Morphe James Charles palette. And look at all of those good colors. We're going to go ahead and go in with our BH Cosmetics. And we're going to start with this light blue right here. And I am going to go ahead and go in with a flat brush and just dip into that color and then just start applying it to this area right here. I think that's pretty good. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this lighter blue right here just to add a little bit of dimension. I don't know if you add dimension with light colors or not. Hmm, who knows? I am going to use this navy right here, and it's called Cola. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use it on this part of the ribbon. Come on, Cola. We're going to go into the Back to Brazil. These are the three blues. Boom, boom, boom. This last one, which is right here. You're just going to fill in Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Sugar Palette. Isn't this a great shape and just, what do you call it? Container? I don't know what you call it. Okay, this is gorgeous. What I think I'm going to do is play around with a few shades, as you can see on my fingers, and see if I can get it close to the red that I want. I'm going to start with the cherry cola. Oh, that's cherry soda. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're going red. Ba -ba 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 Bam! I'm going to do a little bit of the pink, which is cavity. I'm going to go into a little bit of blood sugar, which is this color right here. And there we go. We're going to go into the Take Me Back to Brazil and we're going to go into the yellows. This yellow and maybe this one, this one and this one. I think I'm going to start with this one right here. There's some fallout on this. I can see it in the air. Woo. I love this palette for color. This is where we are. I need to clean it up. I need to deepen some of it up. I'm going to try the Back to Brazil Black to see how I like it. So we will just try up here. You ready? And there we go. There's how we're going to sharpen the lines. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pop off camera. I'm just going to deepen up these colors and line everything again in the black and then I'll be right back. We have the ribbon finally done after a thousand years. Now it is time to do the eyeshadow on the left side. Okay, let's get started. I am going to go into the light blue and I am going to use this as somewhat of a transition shade. Take a clean brush and I am just going to buff out the outer edge. Do some round blending. I don't want to go too much further out than the end of my eyebrow. Now we're just going to darken up the edge here. Here we go, cut crease time. Y'all ready for it? A little more of the BH Cosmetics concealer. This is how I do a cut crease. I have hooded eyes, so I put the concealer down, go down, look up, and then you can see the line where your concealer goes. And I'm only going to do a partial cut crease because I want that dark blue to stay because I do not want there to be a harsh line here I'm just going to pat that part and then it will blend a little better 
I thought we'd have a little fun on this side. And fun to me is glitter. So let's do some red glitter. What I have now is the NYX glitter glue. And we are gonna put that exactly where we put our concealer. I like putting the concealer first because it's easier for me to see where to put things. And when we get to the end, we're just going to feather it. Now we are going to dip into the glitter and put it on our eyes. And we are just going to keep doing this until it is all covered. So we have the cut crease and the glitter on. Oh, we need to do under the eye. What I want to do is I'm going to do the dark blue under the eye. I'm going to go back in with the light blue just to smoke it out. Now, because you're probably wondering, where's the yellow? Right here. We're going to do the inner corner. And to jazz up that yellow, we're going to add a little bit of shine to it. I don't think you can see the shine, but you can see the yellow. That's all that really matters. We're going to go up into the glitter. And I don't want to go too far into the blue because the yellow and blue make green. And then for the lower lash line, I want to use the flat end of the brush that we used to line the black. And I want to go in with the navy and just hit that lower lash line. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to take care of this eyebrow line my eyes put on lashes and then i'll be right back i just want to thank you guys so much for watching and being a part of the awareness for autism this month i am wanting to bring awareness to a lot of different diseases and syndromes and disorders over the months so that we can become aware and become educated i hope you enjoyed seeing how i created these looks if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit that notification bell. So every time I upload a video, you're notified. I can't wait to see you in the next video. So I will see you then.